We I got one more hip-hop. question. Hip-hop. All right. Has hip hop created the word? No. No. Let me let me explain. I know the word nigga wasn't created by hip hop. It was already being used before that. So let me rephrase the question. Has hip hop made it a worldwide phenomenon? Because one of the conversations I was having with Justin Hunt was about the whole thing. We were talking about it earlier with the white guys using the word. And I said, I blame hip hop for that. And we got into a like a debate about it. It's it's kind of mucky when it comes to that. But you know what? That's that's hip hop, man. Unfortunately, hip hop has made the word basically, I don't know, acceptable to multiple cultures. And that's just a bad side effect of hip hop, man. You blame that on hip hop? I do. I do. And he said, why would you blame hip hop? It's racism. And I'm like, yes, it's racism, too that has brought this word into the world in the first place, yeah. but hip hop has made that word expanded. We're now place to place beyond just where black people, they've heard it so many times. It's part of the, their vocabulary now. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? I don't know if I can blame racism for the person who just lives in some part that never even thought about racism. They just heard rap songs here saying the shit. Yeah. But there's a part of them there. It... Like they're not using it because, is towards that person they're just using it because well, they heard it in the rap song i think it's cool but it's yeah. well, okay but it's funny though okay cool it's cool on that part it's cool on that part but the minute they get into an altercation with somebody from that mm. culture of sense they that's when it sounds just when they drop it right they drop it at the wrong time sometimes let's just be real so, okay, so give me an example. Like, let's say there's some white kid from <laughs> right? Norway, okay? And he comes up to you, and Friday, my nigga, my nigga, like my nigga. Yeah. Friday, my nigga. He's, he's thinking he's being cool with me, and but I'm going to get offended because you're using the word, but you're not using it because you're racist. You're using it because you heard it in hip-hop songs, and you think yeah. it's going to make me yeah. give you a dap for saying it. Yeah, I know. So I, yeah. I'm not going to blame them. I got to blame hip-hop. Well, I'm going to blame... I'm going to blame... Um, no, like it's, could, it's hard to blame hip hop because we love hip hop. It's the name of this damn show. Well, well, <laughs> well, like, well you, you, you got to blame hip hop in a sense because there is rules to hip hop. And if they miss that rule, that play in the rule book, then they got to go back some to know that they shouldn't be saying it in the in the context of greeting me, mm. um, using it in a context to be mad at me. Right. It's different if you are repeating the words that the artist is saying. I'll give them that. And they're at a show. I, you gave them that. There's a lot of people who won't give people, I won't, I, won't I, give white people the oh, pass don't, don't, to don't. say it in a song. That's cool. But that's cool. I cannot control what you listen to. Mm. I cannot control what you listen to. But I, I can control what you say to me and, and, and project out there to give you enough knowledge to know. Like, if you did say to me, I'm the one brother that might spare you at that moment. It depends what mood I'm in. Yeah. But I'll spare you but because I'm a hip hop veteran. So I'm going to tell you, yo, that's not how you greet me. You greet me by peace. What's up, brother? How you doing? You yeah. know what I'm saying? Peace but, and love. And, and you know what I mean? But at that point, it's hip hop that brought that word to that person. Like, OK, for you, Zar, right, as a. White presenting person, yeah, <laughs> <Okay>. buddy. <laughs> you, you know, you're, you're hearing this word in songs and shit like that yeah. for years and years and years and years. Yeah, but like, other than that, you're not you're not a racist person. So like, the word is not going to come to your brain to be like, yo, I'm just that's just what I call black people. Yeah, yeah. You know, it, the word is introduced to you more through the music than anything obviously yeah. before the music i don't know before the music would you even have heard the word no for me i heard it uh in music mm-hmm. right my parents never even like talked about like black people you know yeah. what i'm saying it mm. wasn't like oh by the way this like so i'm yeah. hearing it in music yeah. yeah i think like the the black music i'm hearing is like cool so one day i said it in school <laughs> you got in trouble no a black girl just told me like yo, you can't say that. I was like, why? And I was like eight. You know what I'm saying? I'm yeah. like, yo, I just heard it in a song. She's like, oh, like, uh, it's not good. Um, like, it, it doesn't mean something good for black people. Like, mm. it's something bad, right? 
So when I go home, I'm like educating my parents. I'm like, yo, did you know like the emphasis? <laughs> you know what I'm saying? But I'm not gonna lie, like even <laughs> growing up until like maybe I got into uh, like mid high school, like in lyrics, I would say it out yeah. loud, like in privacy and stuff. Mm, like I wouldn't censor myself like when I'm by myself. Yeah, and then, like yeah. as I got older, I was like, okay, it's not appropriate. Yeah, you yeah, know, yeah. but I never like called a black dude like, yo, you're like an N-word. Or, or yo, know, my so. nigga. Uh, I've definitely said that to like a white guy. Okay, cool. <laughs> yeah, no, white guys, like I'm sure you're you're seeing other white guys using it. Like most, it's like, yeah. you know, it, I can't say in all cases. Yeah. They're just, they're just calling each other that. Yo, my nigga. Da, da, it's da, 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 almost da, da. like buddy. Cause like for us, it's like, we saw it as like, and the way black people use it with each other, it's oftentimes endearing. Yo, like that's my N word. Yeah. Or like, Look at this strong ass N word. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. So, and especially once you start to watch like stand up comedy and black stand up comedy, it's like it's such an effective word, word in terms yeah. of like as a punchline and it stuff. It means something. Mm. Yeah. And then, and then I was around some Spanish people and they call each other negro all the time. Like, and that's like they're just describing a black person. And if they like, they'll be like uh, a pretty black girl, they'll call it negrita. Yeah. yeah, it's, yeah. You know what I'm yeah, saying? It's, it's actually in the language. That's where the, the word comes from. So, did hip hop create the, I guess, colloquial use of it today, yes, they made it, like, cool, and they kind of removed the a negativity. lot of the negativity from yeah. it. But, like, I'm gonna be real, like, that word's in the Bible. There's, a there's like... A place what, called... There's, yeah, like, Niger or whatever. Yeah. And, like, even some guy was referred to there, like, yeah, they called him Niger or whatever mm -hmm. because he was black, you know? So yeah. the word is just rooted from black, and then Americans kind of, like, removed the O from Negro. And then they start using it. They put well, the hard it, er. Yeah, well, the slave, the slave masters did that. Yeah, yeah. You know what I'm saying, but that was just like how people would talk. Even like non, they wouldn't even necessarily be considered racist by their standard. They'd be like, "Oh, did you see those two n words just walking by the other day?" Like, no, that's not. That's, that's how they would like that's use how it, they like, just use as it. a identifying thing. Okay, one thing I was taught by by an ancestor. <laughs> that word is detrimental to them may not be as detrimental to me and you mm. but you see to your mom my mom who couldn't walk into a washroom and see a sign that says no blacks allowed that word every time we say it we actually put ourselves eons back yeah. it's a curse that you put on yourself. Uh, even if you're a white man saying it, you're, you're actually cursing yourself every time you say it. You put bad luck onto yourself. The old heads that, do mm, not like that. It is an actual curse that you're putting on yourself. That's why they used to say it to us to keep us down. Because mm. mm. it's a sense of the twist of the tongue that they used on us. It's just like even when after they called us a nigger, they killed us. Just mm. in front of our, our wives or whatever. De dehumanize us and then wake up in the morning and sorry in the rising and say good morning good because mm. that's that now I just killed your family member mm. sold them now you're mourning you're sad mm. so is this a good morning nigga so every time you use that word I don't care if you're white black green yellow a Martian alien you put yourself back eons of years and you put bad luck energy onto yourself. Yeah, but it's we're so comfortable now over the years, bro. Like even even us as black people in Canada. Okay. Yeah. yeah. Um, I was telling Justin, I got introduced to the word nigga more through the music and through my my excursions to the United States. Not just through the music, mm -hmm. but my excursions to the United States. Yeah. And seeing just the way like it was used so much in New York okay. and how yeah it wasn't just meaning one per like it didn't mean black people in new york it meant everybody like they were like chinese niggas white nigga da, 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 da. Mm. but then when you go down to tough like it meant black people like it like it was used in different ways yeah. in america and i yeah. caught that and then i would go back home to montreal and be like yo my nigga you know what i'm saying because it wasn't part of canadian culture like that hey, but that but but see that's the thing we're in, that's where we're not like them because we're from Caribbean backgrounds, mm -hmm. real African backgrounds also. So what happened to us is go to, go to the Caribbean. You do not hear the Caribbean man them speaking like, yo, my nigga. I so think maybe, maybe one, now two. because no? of maybe of here, the, but no, not the there. Culture has, in Jamaica, they would still be like, I'm a bread you know, I said, I uh, mm. them thing that you maybe one, two young, you, you might hear say, yeah, the ones nigga. who are influenced, influence a bit, but 
the, the racha comes from my brethren and you know what I mean? You're calling brother man. You're saying things like of, yeah, of, yeah. High, of high caliber energy to give that person that you were speaking to more energy. Yeah. In terms of vibrations, like it's definitely uh, it's almost like a, a trauma it. recycling thing. Like Thank every you. time you, you're if you're called that or you say it like you're reminding mm, so the person of history. So you're right about us taking the because it's an American word. Yeah. Mm. It's not a hip hop word. It's we took a, a black hip, American. We word. took yeah. a black American word and they're the most influential people next to the Jamaicans on the face of this earth. Yeah. And but the thing is, it's still hip hop because black Americans pushed hip hop culture to the world. Yeah. Mm. And because we're hearing black Americans use this so freely in music. Thank like you. Kendrick Lamar bought a white girl on stage. And she, and she said, it. she said the word nigga. <laughs> she belted it. He went like, woo. But like, what did you expect, man? Like your song has it in there too. And you're supposed to be Mr. You know, Mr. Pro righteous. Yeah. And but it's just part of the vocabulary, it's right? Part of the vocabulary. And so then, you know, now when you got fans but in Norway and friggin' but the, um, Saskatchewan and all types of places, they're gonna say nigga too. But they're not American. But they're gonna say nigga because you took your Black American culture, made it popular to the world, and threw all kind of niggas in. YG, the YG from the West Coast, one of his biggest hit songs is "My Nigga." Is my nigga. But what I will say is because that word is prominent around the world, I'm not going to lie. I've been around people who say it, but they mean it like the old meaning, like yeah. white dude to be like, yo, it's such an N word. But mm. you can tell it's like, it I've, comes heard, from I've some, heard that. Like yeah, I've from been in rooms place. where I'm like, whoa. And I'm always like, I always call it out yeah. and they'll be like, bro, it's not a big deal, blah, blah. And I'm like, yo, like it's kind of crazy. That, like That's it's so wild. Like today people still say that. And like, I've been around brown people that say it and sometimes they'll say it like in that brotherly way yeah, but sometimes yeah. they'll be like yo n-words you know what i'm saying like and that's crazy that the same one that could use it in one way will use it in the next because it's like so you don't like us you're using it as a term and endearment because i guess i could go back to hip-hop and stuff like that but you also remember the old way that it was being used prior to like they I they figured, remember I that i figured it they want to be you so bad that they can't so they'll use something that makes them identify to you. Mm. Right? I figured it. But what it is that when it's time to be what we what happens to us, turn it off like a light switch. Mm. Yo, I, I, I knew this girl who used to smash this black dude. She's brown, right? Mm. Yeah. So then she told me what happened, whatever. And then she was like complaining about him. And I'm like, and then she was like, oh, he's being such an N-word. <sighs> This is the same girl who was smashing this black dude. That's yeah, crazy. Saying, like, that's what they he, do. They'll turn she around was, and call He was it. behaving like an N word. You know what I'm saying? Wow. Which is like, how is there to behave like an N word? That's what I was, that's the first thing that came yeah. to me. Like, what does she have a preconceived notion of behaving like an N word is? Okay, because yeah. there's a pamphlet that they're given at the at birth about us. <laughs> this pamphlet you're talking about? <laughs> like, is I'm it like a make, physical pamphlet? I swear <laughs> it's you get a, a PDF phys- I'm on, gonna on, get, online of it and shit? I think there is one. I think they get it as soon as they come off the uh, come off the plane, you right? Send me the it's link, like, bro. Like, brother, there's a pamphlet that tells you how, what and where and how and not to like us. <laughs> and why not? And what, 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 how we act. Like, that's that's crazy. Like, she really just has this thing in her. He's acting like... A, yeah. Because someone okay. gave her that notion. Her yeah, parents. she still she still smashed. Like it was like <laughs> so. It's like that's where he's laughing. He's like, look at this dumb. Bee. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But he might not know that she has these sentiments. Like, yes, he does. Family, you might have those feelings, but she doesn't. He doesn't know that she, she's using these words about Behind him. Her back. Yes, until they might get into a crazy and argument. Then one day. she drops it. Like I've I've been in this situation. Yes, I right? have. Right? What are you gonna say? I was going to say it kind of reminds me of remember early internet days where you go on those like random chats and it'd be like the most racist, obscene things. Yeah. They'll be like, look at this, uh, a blah, 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 N word, blah, 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 blah. Like, and like some dudes, like they still like that type of humor. So when they're around each other, they'll, they'll call each other that being racist, but like trying to be like, like have like dark humor, like no pun yeah. intended. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. But, yeah. That's crazy. It's man. all good. Yeah, man. What were you going to say? So uh, like when you get with women, of other races that have like some deep seated and it is racism, right? Where there's these preconceived things of what they think an N word is. They might not say it to you like the, to, to us, like, 
you know, that's scary. But when they get, if you get into the heated, heated argument, which I've been in, they'll use it. That word comes out. It's like, whoa, like, how is that in there when we like have some passionate love? Like, yeah, whoa, no, whoa. that ain't love. She really, she just, <laughs> like she I was just, in you like a couple nights ago, and my, I wasn't that. No, she, but maybe in her head, she's like, Nick. It, I guess so because like <laughs> it's just like a different tone. Like, no, but like fam, like that word is not used ever before until you get into the argument. That's what I said. They argument. use it it's when you're mad is when it comes out. It's like right? what so that was there the whole time. It's like shocking. Yeah, <laughs> you know what I'm saying. So it's like your homeboy or your homegirl. The guy might not know that that's how she talks about him behind until yeah, they like, maybe get into a heated argument. But if they never do, he'll never know that she calls him an N word behind his back. Yeah. Yeah, it's like, yo, she was she was giving me head the other day. Everything was fine. You yeah, know? Yeah, yeah. You're, you're just, but you're n- nigga dick. Yeah. But he won't <laughs> even know that it's being called that unt- if he never gets into that heated argument. Well, that, like in the back of her mind, she calls him a nigga. Well, and then and then, and then, yeah. and then in, in the back of his mind, he's like, "This key bitch." Maybe, who knows? Because you know I mean? shit, we've <laughs> we've had that whole conversation with the brown right. and black, and that's right. that could that we won't need, we won't do that now. That'll probably yeah. take a whole other hour. Yeah. But black people have our own shit too, where we're like, yeah, fuck you, and with even our own and within our own selves, Caribbean people, yeah, what light, light skin, dark skin. Not even just that. This island and that, that island. island? Wow. What? It's crazy. Divide and conquer, man. These are like all, I feel like they're all like kind of uh, imaginary or like planned beefs to keep yeah. black people against each other. Because like, bro, like it shouldn't be like that. You know what I'm saying? But <sighs> they make it like that. And people are like, yo, this is my island, Bob. Even though, bro, like I don't want to get deep. You know what I'm saying? Because these are all like, made by like the british and stuff they designed the borders they're like okay you are this now fight for this you know what i'm saying like so it gets deep but what i want to add and i want to see if any like non-black people can relate but sometimes like you'll be talking to a white person and they drop it like casually Mm. like so one time i was talking to this guy he was pretty cool we were like vibing you know what i'm saying we're and then he was like uh oh yeah but like the thing with somalis is they think they're n-words but they're not but he said it with the er you know what I'm oh, saying? Shit. He's like, they're not even N words. You know, Whoa. like they're they're African, they're East African. So it's like, cause he, I think he meant it more on like a race identifying thing, but it was also like, oh shoot, like yo, you just said this in front of me. He doesn't even realize he's racist. No, I think he was kind of like gauging, like, okay, this guy no, seems he wants pretty to see if conservative. You are. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> you're one. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. He's trying to see if you guys could both have a let's have a. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, so and I've been in that situation so many oh, times dude. where people will say it in front of me. And like, I'll call it out. But they make you feel wrong. They make me feel like, oh, come on, bro. Like, don't Just be say such it a pussy. Me. Like, I say it all the time saying? to my black friends. Yeah, yeah, my one like, black friend that. It doesn't mean you don't like black people. It's just what they're called. That's like I've heard crazy. that. You know what I'm saying? You're going to make me go outside and eat a white that, people. <laughs> this guy gonna doesn't make me mean you don't go like black like people. Just bro. say it, man. <laughs> bro, you're going to make me beat up white people today. I'm dying. I'll join you. No, no. <laughs> that is the craziest thing I've ever heard. It doesn't mean you don't black, like black people. Come on, bro. <laughs> Just lean into it. Yeah. And Let's Nick. have a party. Say it with me. Say it with me. Nick. Say it with me. Nick. <laughs> Say it with me. Nick. <laughs> That's crazy. Doesn't it feel great? It's, it's like a great. Great. <laughs> oh, Okay. Great. Let's, let's touch the road, man. We've yeah, we got a nice two and a half hour pod in there today, man. Yeah, man. We love hip hop.